Ron Cam is a very patient man. It took 20 years as coach of Mack High Swimming to win a state championship. Then the Grizzlies boys team won two in a row. It was a great way to wrap up a coaching career. The 1997 and 1998 OSAA state championship trophies epitomize the path to success for any swimming program. A little luck and a lot of planning and perseverance. Ron basically had the patience with me from like age 11 until I was probably 16. He probably should have kicked me off the swim team at any point during those years. And my life would have been a lot different if he had, because I went to college on a swimming scholarship and went to Olympic trials and all kinds of things. And that's a pretty big deal, what he did for me and my family. Another thing that I remember him telling us was, the teacher will appear when the student's ready. And that stuck with me because when I first started swimming, it was just a game to me. And it was just fun. At one point, I got tired of it. I got tired of losing. He said that, and then it started coming in. I started practicing better, and him being there for us all the time, there was never a time that he just kind of brushed you off. He never brushed anybody off. If they were willing to listen, he was always there. Throughout my years, seeing people that are like, well, yeah, I'll teach you, I'll teach you. He was willing to talk and teach never got upset, never lost his temper with any of the kids, with any of us. The 1996 edition of Grizzly Swimming had finished a respectable sixth place at state. The pieces were in place for more in 97. I would say our 96 year really evolved was us change, chasing the, the older classmates. Uh, we wanted to be, wanted to be better. That's when we really started to grow was was our sophomore year. We just all decided to get in the same mind frame and, and really put our heads down and go for it. Mack High swept through the regular season, dominating seven dual meets, then won the Pac-7 conference meet by over 200 points. Then at the state championships in Corvallis, the relays would set the pace. Matt Phillips, Tim Ash, Matt Olson, and Troy Heider got things started, winning the 200 medley. After practicing a lot in the in the swimming pool, you like get a, you get a feel for when someone is coming into the wall and when they're gonna hit it. And I remember Ron taught us how to like swing our arms back and forth and time the, the transition on the relays. So doing that for, I don't know, years, it's like you, you feel the connection, you know when they're gonna hit the wall and when you're going to launch. Because if you miss it by like, and this has happened to me, if you miss it by just a little bit, you, you disqualify the whole relay. That didn't happen <laughs> at the state champ championship. <laughs> yeah. Ryan Olson took home second place in 100 butterfly and was sixth in the 50 free. We'd been swimming together for a long time and um, you know, it was just kind of coming together as a team. I think with Minville's pretty unique at the time where it's, you know, you've got your team in the club and then you've got the team, the same team in high school. So, you know, our team, or at least core members of the team, were just uh, pretty close knit and we were doing the same thing, you know, almost year round. The seniors did their part. Troy Heider won two events and placed in two more. John Wasiaki had a first and a third and Preston Lane scored in three events. Matt Phillips, who then was a junior, was a four event scorer as well. Well, we were just excited to do something we'd never done before and we weren't we weren't in it for the glory we we were in it for our own self-improvement and and just trying to be the best we could be and and we really weren't going to stop until we got there at least that's our mindset at the time we were just really excited to be there and to be able to participate and and be among some of the best the team race came down to the final event the Grizzlies had to stay close to rival Sunset in the 400 free relay. A third place Mack High finish secured the Big Blue Trophy and the championship. That first year, it really did. It came down to the last relay. I remember it happening and pulling the guys out of the water. Everybody's hugging. And we're running over and hugging Ron and, and everything and just being like, we did it. And then it's you know, the second year, us going through it. 
and it was like a really hard time. 1998 was different in many ways. New state venue at Mount Hood Community College. And for the first time, state swimming was divided into two classes. Mack High would battle old rivals Sheldon and Sunset for the 4A title. The numbers were tight. The Grizzlies would need to score big in the relays. We had something to prove. We were, we were going there for a state championship. We weren't going there to see what we could swim. We weren't really even going there for individual state championships. We were going there as a team to win a state championship. And we had a lot less people than the year before, but at that point it didn't matter. We were going to see what we could do. One key to the 1998 repeat was the emergence of Mike Burton in his senior year. Uh, I didn't even make high school state championships till my senior year. Uh, <laughs> I just drowned the whole time, truthfully. And then uh, kind of my senior year, I went through puberty. I grew like four or five inches, gained 25 pounds, and won the state championship in the 53 after not going. And then I got swimming scholarships and everything changed after that. So it was a big drastic change from kind of just being a jackass the whole time and causing trouble to having a future opened up because of this. Yeah. Burton and Phillips were the bookends of the 200 free and medley relays that won the gold, both breaking state records. Then Coach Cam and Matt Phillips orchestrated an event switch that made a big difference. Originally, I was going to do the 100 free and the 100 back. There was another gentleman, and he was really fast in the backstroke, and, and we thought, well, uh, I might be able to beat him. But, I mean, second was pretty secured if I couldn't beat him. But they're like, well, 200, there's not really anybody else that that is pushing some of the times I was doing. And so we decided to switch to that for points purposes for the state championship. And it, it, it worked out. I ended up winning and I got the, I think that's when I got the high school or high school record too. Phillips got the gold and the record. Then Burton won the 50 free. Ryan Olson won the 100 fly. Tim Ash was second in the 100 breaststroke. McMinnville was in first place going to the final event, the 400 free relay but they had no entry. They had to root for Sheldon to beat Sunset in that race. Yeah, I mean, it came down to someone else's race, <laughs> which is, is pretty ironic. It's nice that as swimmers in an individual event, you know, swimmers are kind of brought up to, this is your individual event, this is you swimming. It. This meet was a team event. We went there to win as a team. And even by the end of the last event, we had to, as a team, cheer for a different relay <laughs> and a, a different high school altogether. I distinctly remember we're, we're behind, we're behind the blocks and we're rooting for people we do not know at all because we had to have a certain order, Sheldon, they had to have a certain finish for us to then win the championships. So that was like, I had a headband, I had a funny headband and I was always like, like, like stretching it. And I, at that point, it was like back and forth. I could have like powered a, a small city. I was stretching my head so much, I think. <laughs> Watching other people, not even our own, our own swimmers, so yeah. Sheldon won the event and McMinnville had clinched back-to-back -back state championships. Coach Cam was named state coach of the year for the second time in a row, a fitting end to his high school coaching career. He had worked with many of the Grizzlies since they were youngsters in age group swimming. Well, he had an, an amazingly unwavering um, confidence in us and he always pushed us to do better and he, he took lots of time outside of here in the pool to study things and, and come up with the best practices he possibly could for us. Uh, his, his time wasn't just reserved to when he was here. Um, he was just an, he was a good example too of, of what you wanted to strive for in a, in a person. Uh, I always looked up to him and he always, he always made me try harder and uh, he even convinced me to not quit when I wanted to quit my freshman year. Um, I'm really glad he talked me into it. Um, he's just an exemplary man, you know.
Today, we welcome the 1997 and 1998 Boys Swimming State Championship teams to the McMinnville High School Hall of Fame.